All right, we are back. This week's video we resume in the garden. I'm taking you along for some yard work. Last video we ended with packing up our old place. This video, poof, we're at the new home, but we're starting outside. But first, flex and hemp, of course. If you're not already following me on Instagram, I have my personal page, but I also have my holistic healing and mindfulness page with content that's similar to what I share here. So check out both. Let's get started. We had a unique situation with the garden, let me tell you, because we have a really sweet relationship with the family that we rent from. So we had been invited to plant and tend to the garden before we even moved in while they were still living here. However, and I did that, I, I started some seeds at home, the starters died. One survived, but it didn't thrive here. And, um... Then I like came over around Mother's Day weekend and like threw some seeds down and tilled up the garden. That was a huge experience. <laughs> there were so many pregnant wolf spiders. I can't even. Um, however, so we planted the garden. It's on a sprinkler system. So amazing. So blessed. But I only showed up to weed once. So I've, I've been through this process, but it's been months since I've been back. As you can see, it's wild. Honestly, if... I didn't have this plan to film as content for you. I don't know if I would have gotten around to weeding at all. It just felt so overwhelming. There were so many hurdles, I feel like, to overcome in just this process. Like, for one, I've never done this. I've never had a garden. At the old home, I just... We never truly settled in. I never felt confident enough and, like, in, had enough initiative and, like, feeling of responsibility to do it um the setup all these excuses or whatever um but I really felt welcome to do it here but it's still new to me and being a perfectionist the idea of getting into something and not being good at it right away and not really knowing what I'm doing and the trial and error of it all even though I have a three line and me human design um it th it just felt so overwhelming to me so that's that. I also have a fear of spiders. I was over it by that point. The spider thing is really interesting because um, the fear is still there, even though I've been working on my relationship with them over the last couple of years, and it's it's grown really beautifully and evolved really beautifully. You don't even know. It's it's still in my bones to like jump and feel scared whenever I see one. Um, some of you actually do know though, if you're a member of Well Connected and have been with me healing for the past couple of years, you'll know the connection I have with spiders, but okay. Also like not knowing plants from weeds, you'll see me take quite a few breaks to pull out my plant ID app so that I know what I'm growing from what I'm pulling. And of course there were some casualties, but I did my best. It's interesting because there's this like paradox of wanting to be good at something right away and knowing that this type of thing tending to a garden is about relationship entering a relationship and it's going to be a process getting to know each other getting to know the land walking the yard familiarizing myself and um you know it's been the hustle and bustle of the move so it's it's time to to start settling which is nice but um, it's really requiring perseverance, you know, I'll be out here again, and it's nice to get this, like, big kind of clearing out of the way so I can come in with the maintenance work, but there's been this daunting reality. I've heard it a lot over the last few years, and maybe you have too seen it on Instagram, I just want to move to a farm. How nice would it be to just live off the land? And yeah, that's ideal, but it's one thing to say it and another to recognize and commit to the labor that it, it takes and the time and the care to produce a lifestyle like that so I feel really grateful that this is just like practice and has been really sweet and like welcoming and inviting and um being a perfectionist I'm like so harsh on myself and have so much judgment and I could say more on that but it feels like this environment is allowing me to make mistakes and try new things and, and just live. <laughs> so there have been so many answered prayers in this process of renting this home. Like 
slowing down for one, that sense of urgency, like th- this is required slowing down and knowing the land. Um, it's giving us an opportunity to become more sustainable and learn these homesteading skills. It's allowing us to be more communal, both in our familial sense, but also with my business, Heart Connected Healing. You might have seen the TP space. You will by the end of the video. And that's just like such a bonus and one of the ways I knew that this place was meant for us um, to be able to have space to, to host people and have them over and share meals and break bread and enjoy. And that's what I mean by prayers being answered and really specifically I've had prayers for earth relations which comes with earth responsibilities and time with the earth and focus with the earth and meditation with the earth so all of this is sort of required of us now that we have taken over this property and I'm really excited about it I haven't established a devotion flow with the land quite yet Um, But my eldest just started school, and I think I and my little there, Daphne, will have some time to get to know the nature and really make it ritual to be out there daily and speaking with the elements. Now that the weeding is rolling, I have to start studying harvesting (laughs) and when to pull the abundance. It's one thing to be like, okay, the the weeds look nice, but how do I know when to prune things back and, and collect and I just feel like I'm in earth school right now so if you have a garden feel free to leave your tips for me I do hope to one day use all eight beds which I'll show you and maybe even like take more space to provide for the greater community whether that's my friends or friends friends or the houseless community I'm really eager about the sharing So I finished that garden bed and like there's another one, the family before us, they had planted um, some carrots and some peas and some lettuce and that bed's out of control, but I just didn't have it in me. So I started walking around the yard, just getting all the stickers, the thistles out so that the barefoot situation is even better. It's already great, but um, you know, I do love being barefoot and I don't like the thistles. So I went around... And there's the teepee, a little glimpse of the teepee. There are some protecting that space, which is sweet. Next week, I think I will be decorating the teepee for the video, the Heart Connected Healing HQ. But if not that, I'm really excited to start tackling inside projects, like refinishing an old dresser. So feel free to vote in the comments what you'd vote for. Either way... I will see you on Saturday. In case you missed it, I did recommit to uploading new videos every Saturday. Day of Saturn, day of getting shit done. That's my style. It's been really sweet to have the yard and have the kids just be free and play. All right, so for the last shot, I want to take you around the garden and show you what we have planted. We have kale. We have purple cabbage i was a maniac and just threw a bunch of seeds down i had to pull some actually there's a bunch of tomatoes which i did not plant they had them in there prior so they've been taking over beets yay yippee and okra and here are all the other beds that are available that one i need to weed there's like actual real things in there (laughs) um there's another with some like wild arugula that rex has been loving so My work's cut out, and I'm grateful. Thank you for watching. Bliss be with you.